I'm Michael Floyd. I designed the logo on my t-shirt to make me look like a superhero. And you're watching Balloon When Fell. Last time on Balloon When Fell, I made Odie. You voted. And with your vote count of 648 to only 25, you decided he was a win. I'm glad you guys thought he was a win. You guys really seem to like his tongue. I'll admit, that's my favorite part too. However, a few of you thought that the hole in his body wasn't too good. And a couple of you even noticed that I forgot his dot. Well, let's hope I don't forget anything on this next guy. So last week, I put out a request for droopy face photo challenges, and I wasn't let down. On Instagram, this photo was sent to me by the ENTG. Wow, even his name is sort of derpy. I'm just kidding, that's probably not how you say it at all. Well, Ian, since you sent me a derpy face photo, I'm gonna do your challenge. So this week, my challenge is Beast Boy from Teen Titans. Wow, that face is pretty tough. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. But it wouldn't be Balloon One Fell if I already knew what I was gonna make. So let's go. Okay, since I have no idea how to make that head, I'm gonna procrastinate and do his body instead. Gotta love a superhero that can pull off purple. Takes a real man to wear purple. That was louder than I thought it was gonna be. There's his body, can you see it yet? That's not supposed to happen. There's a hole in that one. Can you hear it? Don't worry, I have more balloons. Since I still have no idea what to do, might as well make his gloves. Okay, I have gloves now. What else can I procrastinate by making? I know, shoes. Okay, I have shoes and still no idea how to make his head. I guess I'll assemble the rest of his body. Now he has arms. I just realized he has like black running down the side of him, so I'll add that. Anything's better than making the head right now. And I can use this for his legs. He has legs now. Okay, let's see, he has shoes, he has gloves, he has his whole outfit. Wait, he's missing a belt. I don't have to make the head yet. All right, he has shoes, he has gloves, he even has a belt. What else does he need? I know, a head. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the head's the hardest part. I have a 260 and a 160, and I don't know which one to use. I'm gonna go with the 260. When in doubt, keep it simple. Let's see, his head should be about that long. That's not gonna work for hair. And that's the best I can do for a head. Don't worry, there's there, there'll be some more. Just have to think of what that is yet. Well, he does have pointy ears, so let me try doing that. That's a little lopsided. Okay, he has pointy ears. Time to put his head on his body. And I'm done! He does have a bit of a blank expression though, doesn't he? He needs a face. But at times like this, I like to rely on the magic of markers. He's got sort of thick eyebrows, doesn't he? and I'm done drawing his face. Boy, this one was pretty tough, but I think I did a pretty good job. I had to rely on markers to do the face, but I think he came out looking really good. But it doesn't matter what I think, what do you think? If you think my Beast Boy balloon here is a win, click that thumbs up button. If you think he's a fell, click the thumbs down button. I'm looking for my next challenge. You can challenge me in the comments below or through Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Remember to include your derpy face. If you enjoyed watching this, why not check out the playlist with all my other balloon and fell challenges? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, anything can be made out of balloons, even Beast Boy. Hot water's done. It's my hot water dance.